I always feel awkward doing this with other people because I don't, I don't have fun. many people in my videos. Don't worry. I'm alone now. <laughs> Hi guys! Today I am here with two very special girls. These are the girls that I have been working with to produce the sleep paralysis game. The Google VR game. Game girls. Game girls. Game. No. <laughs> so this is Tabitha. Hello. What do you like about gaming and being a game dev? Um, I like to 3D model stuff for our game. Mm -hmm. She was a 3D, was a 3D character <laughs> model. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is <laughs> Tiffany. Hello. I quite like concept art, but I also, the more I do it, the more I prefer 3D. Not necessarily characters though, not like tabs though. <laughs> She's a hybrid. I am the coder, so we work pretty well as a team, because yeah. I was the game designer, and then we had the character modeler, and the environment modeler, and we all enjoy a bit of drawing as well, so we could all pitch in on that. Which is nice! So yeah, I just figured since our deadline is up, I am still going to be working on the game to release it to you guys and make it a bit better, but deadline in university is over. We are currently studying computer game arts and I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit about us making games. Anything? This is just about that, about that. So should we start with why did you guys get into gaming? Why did you want to make games? Why did you come to university for it? Okay. I got into gaming when I was about three and I used to play Nintendo 64 with my dad and then that kind of progressed on to playing PC games. I think it was like five or six I was playing Unreal Tournament <laughs> and then that progressed on playing Sims. I started making content for The Sims 2 so that involved textures and stuff and then I kind of realised you could make a career out of it so yeah I wanted to study it at uni. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. When I was a toddler, I was sat in my dad's lap like literally the whole time. He was into gaming a lot and I'd watch him play Tomb Raider and that was really the first game that I absolutely adored. Ever since then I just was on games. So I was this is all I did really. That made me want to like get into games. But what I realised was that gaming is completely different to making a game. There is a lot to it. It's not as simple as people think. But I still enjoy it though, nonetheless. Like the more I do, the more I understand, so yeah. I loved the way they looked. I was like, wow. I was absolutely speechless. I was like, how do people make these? And that's why I was like, I really want to make one. Let me do it. And obviously that that happened. Doing really. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've made two games together now, haven't we? Yeah. In two separate groups. Um, the last game was the major one, though. The last game was the Sleep Paralysis one, which I definitely want to share with you guys. And that took us three months. Yeah. Mm. And making a game in that time, it's stressful, and you don't get it finished. Like, yeah. there's no way you can get a game finished mm. within three months. Especially with three people. <laughs> yeah. Because when you're making a game, you usually have the game designer. So what the game designer is, is someone who comes up with the narrative, or the reason behind the game, you know, the, the reasons for things, and also the platform, all the technical bits but also they code the game at the end as well so they put it into Unity they put all the code together which is like what I absolutely adore and then I just basically told you guys what to do tonight yeah. <laughs> I was like, do this <laughs> no, it, was your, it was your idea no. so we were just no, it wasn't that bad Hopefully, I don't no, know. No, it wasn't compared to other, other people's games we heard it's about. It's okay though, it works though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think the main thing about making a game, I guess it's like anything, teamwork is, mm. is the biggest the biggest thing and I think that's what I've learnt the most actually yeah. through this whole course. It's just communication is key. Yes. It doesn't matter how good you are, who's the best in the team. It's not about that. Mm. If you're worried about who's doing better work, then your overall game is going to be pants. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're going to be stressing. And it, I think it helped that we get on so well and like we respect each other. Like we don't think it's to a get work done for each other. Yeah, yeah. It's not a competition for us. We were just really excited, like what, how it's going to look, how it, you know, it's going to play and that was, it was fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's also why I want to make games as well because the whole aspect of like making something that you can interact with mm. and then seeing it and yeah. interacting with it is just so 
exciting. Mm. You can make a film and then watch it back and you're like, woo. But what, <laughs> when you make a game and then you see like other people play it and you see how they interact with it and then they do things that you haven't even thought of doing in the game that you created yourself. It's so interesting. Yeah, I think it's amazing how it's like nothing and then it, it like, becomes, becomes yeah. something. Yeah. That's what really gets me, I think. Yeah, especially it, with you guys, because you spend so long making models. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then to see what that ends up being when yeah. I put it into Unity must be, like, mm, a bit like weird. The biggest for you. achievement, I think, and when you make a game, or for me it is, it's the biggest achievement when it all comes together. Yeah, and it looks yeah. really cool. I think we did really well yeah, with this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm super Great happy sound. with it. Yeah. And I love being game designer because I get, like, I get control. <laughs> but like when you put everything together at the end and I get all your assets and then I think that's when like the creativity sparks and I'm like, oh, I could put this piece of code here to do that and blah, 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 blah. Mm. And that's why timing's really a big deal for me anyway. Sorry, I was always giving them loads of deadlines. But that's well, okay, it works, yeah. not it? Yeah. I was like, can I have this by this day? I don't always ask you if you could do it in time. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't like you You always yeah. like adjust the like, deadlines yeah. as well. Oh yeah. So that was always nice. Because thing is, if I got stuff back from you and then put it in the game, that gave me time to like realise what worked, what didn't work, what extra code I could maybe add, and then if we had more time, then maybe we could add mm -hmm. new features into mm -hmm. the game. Deadlines are just a major thing anyway, because else mm -hmm. you just get lost in the swamp of work if you don't have a deadline, and yeah. you don't have the structure of what to work on first, and then what mm -hmm. to move on to next. Um, what what did you find most difficult? Oh, about making, making the, game. the game. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was very tedious. To be honest, the animations. I've never yeah. explored animations ever, like before, and like it. The whole entire like process of animations does confuse me. Like, I would like to study that a bit more, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the thing is, in our course, because there's so much to do with yeah. making a game, we don't actually teach you it. No, you just kind of like. Go and find a YouTube video. <laughs> they like briefly cover it and then tell you yeah. to like explore. Yeah, and maybe give you one lesson on it. When you're like making something within time, screw trying to do it yourself and being like, oh, I want to say that I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. If there are assets out there readily available and pieces of code and snippets like that, use them. And also you can learn from that anyway, because you can pick it apart and be like, why is this working? Oh, they used mm -hmm. this or they did that. And that's how you learn. I think anyway. Yeah. Have you ever had like an experience what? before going into this industry? Because I'm guessing you want to work in this industry. Yeah. Or during university where you feel like being a girl has maybe hindered? Or the opposite helped? A little bit. Not as like being at uni as such, but like just playing games online. I've experienced people being horrible towards me because I am a girl. I'm scared. Mm. Yeah, like I played <laughs> Grand <laughs> Theft Auto no, 5 do online is the most I've experienced, like, experienced people being horrible to me. Like I got targeted on purpose just because I'm female. So I deleted it in the end because oh, I just got pleasure. fed up with it. So yeah, that's probably the worst mm. I've experienced it. But then I get people, when I meet people on like nights out and stuff and they ask me what I'm studying at uni and they don't believe me that I'm studying computer game arts they just don't believe me they actually don't believe they don't you. believe me like i have to get my student id out to prove <laughs> really? it to really yes it's happened what? so many Is times really? yeah Why? Wow. i don't i don't know and then they i get this like, oh i bet like you're like it would be ideal girlfriend material whatever and i'm like oh. yeah they always i hate say that, that. <laughs> No. The worst I had it was like, oh no, you look like someone that does like fashion or something. Mm. And I was like, oh yeah, I get yeah. that all the time. They're like, you don't know how to code. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't understand the whole phrase. You look like you should. It's like, what? Yeah. Did the, why? Do, 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 do. My brain is my brain. Mm. This doesn't have to look a certain yeah, I mean, way. You can be into so many different things yet still you know, enjoy gaming and making a game. Like, mm. I love my makeup, I like exactly. dressing up nice. You do get yeah. funny looks, people do judge you a bit and be like, hmm, you, should you really be, you know, making a game? Which is annoying, but what can you do? It's weird. Mm. But I feel like gaming is evolving to yeah. a state where yeah, games is. are like in the same realm as film now. And I, yeah. I do believe, honestly, in the next like five to 10 years, or maybe even less, 
it, it, no one will say, do you play games? It will just be a matter of, like, everyone plays games. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Just, like, <laughs> everyone watch films. Like, what are you talking about? It's, it's more about what kind of games do you play? Are you a mobile gamer? Are you a console gamer? Do you, do you like horror? Mm-hmm. Do you like action? You know, just, like, films. Do you like rom-coms? Do you yeah. like... So I think it's becoming more like that. And yeah, I, I do I think that the that. stigma is, is definitely going mm. away. I think you just have those few people that are maybe stuck holding on to it. Yeah. yeah. Some people you meet, they're like, wow, that's yeah, so cool. They think it's cool. But I just, mm. yeah, I get so insulted when people are like, oh, you don't look like the type yeah. of person. I'm like, go away. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> let me fight you in a game yeah. of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> button masher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a button masher. <laughs> people ask me, like, why do you think that girls don't want to be in tech or there aren't as many girls in the tech industry and I guess this extends beyond just gaming Mm. but what what are your views on that do you think I think it's quite it can be quite like intimidating because it is associated with males and for a woman to go into something like that it can be a bit scary Mm. I think that's possibly why I don't know why it's associated with males. I, exactly. Mm. I don't get it. It's like gaming. Well, like, I guess games originally were developed by men, but do, there was no, like, they weren't aiming it at men. I think it's, like, intimidation. I don't know. I think people are just stuck on the way of thinking and, like, generate, like, back then. And some people always hold on to that. You'll, you'll never get someone who's just so open-minded. Everyone has their thoughts and opinions. And people should open up to it, but you can't force everyone, can mm. you? It's really strange because, well, you say I'd be intimidated. Mm. You're in a computer game arts course, oh, so you're obviously not that intimidated by it. It intimidates me, though, it, in this course. Yeah, it sometimes. does sometimes. Like, especially our edge. first day and when we met, I was like, oh, yeah. thank God. Yeah, I was like, wow. Another girl. Was yeah, was not, no, I was expecting yeah. it to be all boys, and it mm. wasn't. Yeah, surprisingly, there were yeah. more girls than I thought there would be, which is nice. So I didn't even notice the divide, really, until I got into the industry when I was working in advertising, mm. and then I started to go to events. Yeah. And then I, I actually had the, the comment, that was the first time the comment, you don't look like you should be a developer, mm-hmm. came up, and I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm just... What? <laughs> I didn't look down at myself like, what's wrong with me? How should I look? Yeah. But I, I always put that down to perhaps looking young. Yeah. Because mm. I know I look young. Yeah. But then, you know, even that it mm. shouldn't be the case. If no. you're young or old or whatever, it doesn't matter. People are, are into whatever they're into. I, I guess the world is becoming more open minded. Also, I don't yeah. think people should be intimidated. No. Like, yeah, there are definitely more guys and girls in our course, mm. but they're all lovely. And they do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, the majority. The majority are lovely. I mean, there's no one that comes up to us and says, "You're no, a girl. No. You can't make exactly. games." No one does that. And maybe it's just it's just in our own heads, and we're like, "Oh yeah, my god!" It's, it probably because is. there's so much talk about it. The only thing you know is like you should definitely not have flirting in the workplace or no. in the education. So I think that's that's the only thing that might be a slight issue. But that's yeah. I mean, we're in university; they're young. <laughs> they're young yeah. they're little bays but yeah I don't well I don't think that would be the case in the workplace the more you know someone as well I guess you'd, you'd like know what they're capable of and everything and then you'd be like oh okay cool like you'd mm. be cool but obviously that takes time doesn't it would you have any advice to any girl who wants to go into or boy or into industry or studying or into the industry. industry yeah let's not go into <laughs> the uni <laughs> topic no. was, that'll be for another yeah. video i think just go for it <laughs> go for it chase your dream your point was quite relevant making games is completely different mm. to playing games yeah and once you make a game it is so much hard work that goes into yeah. it mm-hmm. especially if you are doing a course like ours which is very broad and tries to help you understand all aspects of making games so the modeling the animation the texturing the coding um, the drawing absolutely everything it's so much to learn and do that you don't even get time to play games anymore no you don't and then you realize when you do play games like how much effort goes into it Mm. and it kind of ruins the fun of it yeah it can do a little bit although also i find that i'm i'm actually appreciating games yeah yeah Yeah, that's that's true i'm like oh that Mm. that texture is so cool that that physics is i remember playing call of duty like a couple of months after we started studying i was like oh my god like all the effort that's gone into (laughs) this you realize (laughs) you have a new understanding and a new respect 
for the game developers. Oh, also, another thing that I find in the game industry, it's harder to get into. Well, I think it is. Yeah. It's harder to get noticed, get into. But with, like, media, advertising, even film, there are so many kind of internship schemes. Yes. yes and, yes, like, yes. companies that are constantly looking for runners. I looked at... It's not as open. It was an internship. <laughs> no. But it was a job. And, obviously, I don't have enough experience. But yeah. Actually... to apply for the job. But, mm. yeah, there's, like, barely anything. Mm. That was the only one I found. I, I was looking for an internship, actually. And everyone I wanted, they either wanted, like, a full-time person or it was like you had to know all this stuff about like Maya and like all these different programs yeah. that's why oh, at the moment I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> not doing it because it is about learning like you've got to start from somewhere do you guys actually want to work in the game industry well I'm unsure like uh -huh. I do but my dream job would just be modeling 3d props I think rather than actually you'd be good at that yeah working in an industry I guess <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> just doing that would be like my dream at the moment but I'll probably change my mind next year because I'm so indecisive <laughs> well next year is last year of university yeah. so <sighs> it's true <laughs> what about you I would love to do something in 3d environment but if all else fails I want to be a chef <laughs> Really? Decided, yeah. <laughs> All else fails, but I'm gonna obviously try first. Well, your brownies were nice. You are good you at cooking. You made us brownies. I'd love to just work somewhere where I can be really experimental. Because I just wanted to learn new things. I just wanted to learn new things to tell stories with. So it's not even necessarily being in the game world. However, the more I'm learning how to make a game, I really do think this is the industry that I love. Because I love film, but I just love being able to think outside the box mm -hmm. and just knowing code and how to make interactive environments and like 3D models and stuff that you can interact with and like using the internet of things like mixed with that and there's just so much that you can learn there's so many different things and it's constantly evolving there's so much you can do it really excites me but the thing is I, d I wouldn't be happy just being in a big company and being yeah. like okay today you're modeling a barrel it might that, that works for you <laughs> <laughs> for me it's like thinking about like the possibilities of like what could happen if you used all the small things in the right ways and and what new coding language would bring in new elements and like what could really push the platform and blah 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 so i guess a game designer but i know that's really freaking difficult to be mm. Mm. so i've got to choose the most difficult ones and i but, but it's, it's good. It's what suits I like, you, though. It's suits you, and you're very motivated. You're very busy. You will get there. I think you'll definitely get there. Oh, thank you. No, you will. You're very like. Why don't we just start our own company? We <laughs> yeah, we should. I was gonna say you Why should. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, indie. <laughs> Let's indie do it. Indie, indie company. Anyway, I just really wanted you guys to know who I was working with when making the Google VR game because these girls are just really talented. Like, honestly, oh, couldn't have done it without them. And they don't even like coding, so I'm like, yeah. yes, it's all, it's all mine. Um, so yeah, I just think it's really, really nice that I found a team that I can work with when making these games. And we'll be working, will, will, will we be working together next? You? Oh, of course. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get dumped then. <laughs> no! No, we need a code. We'll on. be working together next year. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's something we need to tell you. We'd have like the whole year as well, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. to make wow. a game. Yeah, so we need to start brainstorming. So we'll be making another game, and I will be sharing the game that we made with you by Halloween of Yay. this year. Yeah, this year. Yeah, so you'll see what we've been working on. But yeah, I just really wanted you to know who these lovely ladies are. I will leave their links in the description below. So check them out. And yeah, thanks for coming. Bye. 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day or evening. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god, I'm like, my cheeks are red. Yeah, I feel like cute. I talk too much. Oh, you are a bit red. Oh, you're very warm. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, you know? Yeah.